You could own me if you just call me Cobra. Security code compromised. Washington has to protect our funding. I'll make Black Hawk aware of that immediately. Red alert. I'm relying on you. I'll handle it, Commander. There's been unauthorized access to our master computer here in Dallas by a supercomputer in Washington. It's only a matter of time before they identify your agents in the field. Doc Austin is in South Texas, about to bust open the Warriors' fine arts smuggling network. Damn it. We've got to get word to them. They're in danger. The Warrior is our top priority. If this break-in is connected to him, he'll kill them all. Okay? All right, Jeep's in the woods. Go get it and bring it back.
Hey. Mexico's 50 miles that way. Start walking. Give me the gun, Juan. There's no way to contact the agents. They're scattered all over. If we call them, it'll blow their cover. Tiger, how long has it been since you've been in the field? About two years. Well, get it together, sweetheart. You're going out again. I'll contact Jordan in Washington, fill him in. Then I'm off to Vegas to warn Shark and Scorpion. I'm teaming you up with Tyler Ward. Your assignment is to find Doc Austin. Tyler is at the Dallas Air Station, just outside of town. He's taking his yearly proficiency tests. I don't trust anyone else. Colonel. Nice flying, Major Ward. U.S. Reserve could use more men like you. Just missed out on Desert Storm. You're the ones who saw real action. Speaking of real action, there's a beautiful young lady from U.S. Internal Affairs waiting to see you. Thanks. <laughs> Tyler, big trouble. The security code has been violated. We think it's the Warriors people. They could have a mole in Washington. My God. That means our four agents on this case will be hung out to dry. Willow is trying to locate Shark and Scorpion in Las Vegas. What about Cobra? Is she still in Beverly Hills? Yeah, deep cover, posing as an exotic dancer. We haven't figured out how to reach her without revealing her presence to the other side. Our assignment is to find Doc Austin. He's in South Texas, just the side of the Mexican border. We've got to bring him in from the cold. Bring him in from the cold? That's real spy talk. I love it when you do that. Affirmative top dog. Now, let's clear the area. Ah, Kim. This is better than I expected. Paintings from the great masters of Europe. Gold and pre-Columbian art from South America and Mexico. The warrior will be pleased. Our share will be worth millions. Manuel, you are a genius. I'm proud to be with you. You should be. Nephew, sir. Two Mexican federales had him. Caught him on this side of the border. Totally illegal. They were beating him to get him to talk. Did you kill him? Not quite, but I got their attention. Hey, don't worry. You know they didn't check with the Rangers before they chased Juan into Texas. I smoked the radio and Jeep. It's a two day walk to civilization. By then, our work here will be finished. Good thinking. 
Killing federales, even the crooked ones, could cause a real problem. Juan, you are my nephew. You stole from me. Then you were stupid enough to let the Mexican police catch up with you. I should have let them keep you. But you would have talked. We don't have all day. Not to worry. You I trust. I could use more men like you. Load these things into the van. We must deliver these goods to the warrior's cabin on Lake Dallas. Clean up the area. We're abandoning this location. We'll be back for you in three days. It's a long drive, my dear. Almost to Dallas. What would you do to entertain me? Oh, I'll think of something. Now the boy's caught snooping around the cabin at the lake. He's a bad. I was out camping. I got lost. He's a badass, boss. It took four of them to take him. He broke a few bones before they got him down. Get in there. <laughs> If you take me, you walk away clean. In fact, I'm gonna fight you with one hand tied behind my back. Delicious! Bring more. weather report from Malibu climate looking great. Two surf nerds downloading soon into your mainframe. Just as I hoped. If anyone has infiltrated our operation, we'll know it within a few hours. Our contact man in Washington has succeeded in breaking into the lethal force computer system. Who's that? All you have to know is his code name. Hard drive. Hard drive? Mr. Drive has spoken with his two protégés. New blood. A couple of hot shots from Malibu. They have no police record. They're supposed to be two of the best hitters around.
Hard drive called. We've been tagged to do a job. Haha, <laughs> cool, JP. But before we get into this, I need a shower. No problem. I want to check today's market report anyway. Oh, cool. So, you got that thing wet yet? What, a surfboard? No, oh, man, it's just a chick magnet. So how we do today? The market rocketed to a plus nine points early on. The overall Dow average at this time is down six. Two of our stocks are doing pretty well, but GM is down four and a half points? That's not good, is it? We're only up on four stocks this year. Yeah. And we're eating it on 19 others. At this rate, the banks are gonna call in our paper and we'll be filing chapter 11. Face it, JP. We reek as investors. I mean, here we are, a couple of Harvard Business School grads, and the... Well, give it take a class or two. And the only way we know how to make a killing is by making a killing. I'm afraid you're right. Like Grandma used to say, always have something to fall back on. So, where'd you get the checks? I ran into them yesterday at the brokerage house. They're stock analysts. MBAs. From Stanford. Is that all you know about them? Hey, they're smart, they're rich, and they're easy. We have something in common. <laughs> We're easy, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew that. Ladies! I was telling Chaz here that you're a couple of Stanford grads. So, what's your GPA? Uh. I hate to ask you to put your clothes on, but uh, <clears throat> we do have an 8 o'clock at Spago. JP? Over here, JP. So what about that call? This is it, amigo. We're going to Dallas. Big D? We'll be working for a guy named, are you ready? Warrior. So how's the pay? Good. Unlike the stock market, we're assured of a record profit surge. 300 thou, cash. Beats investing in pork chops. Pork bellies. Oh yeah, I knew that. drink, we come back here and we play a little twister. Will I hate myself in the morning? I hope so. <laughs>
These are 12 uncut diamonds from Russia. We slipped them through customs yesterday morning with a regular shipment from South Africa. My God, they're beautiful, even uncut. Yes, they are. Count them and sign this inventory. This is a one-time operation. Warrior knows this. It's far too dangerous to ever try this again. Notice, I'm putting your signed piece of paper in the case of the diamonds. I'm sealing the case. This is the key to a post office box in Beverly Hills. You're to take this case, put it in the post office box, and destroy the key. Do this immediately, exactly as I've instructed. Chances are someone will monitor your every move. This is my package. This is. Cool half million. Pleasure doing business with you. I hope to never see you again. <laughs> Likewise. Pleasure doing business with you also. been using this act as your cover. Six months. Not exactly packing them in. Hey, I haven't hit my stride yet, babe. Yeah, right. Foo, I have a suite here at the hotel, and we have a lot to cover. Ah, so. 
This guy Warrior. Who the hell is he anyhow? The bastard was on our side. He was a world-class athlete, won gold medals in wrestling in two international events. He was a perfect candidate for the CIA. He did damn good work for the CIA in Russia for four years. Then the Cold War ended. Like many other agents, he was dismissed. His services were no longer needed. Warrior's mother was part American Indian. So after his Russian gig, he came back to this country. With his great athletic ability, he became a professional wrestler. In memory of his mother's heritage, he put on war paint and called himself the Supreme Warrior. With this masquerade, he was able to travel throughout the world as a professional wrestler. Through contacts he made when he was with the CIA, he set up a black market network. He was able to smuggle fine art out of Europe, especially from Russia, diamonds from Siberia, and gold and silver and precious artifacts from Mexico. The SOB's even into pirating porno films, and he's involved in furnishing women for clients in the Mideast. White slavery, if you will. Can you believe this guy? Yeah, I can. As we Asians say it, truth is stranger than fiction. Cool it with that rice patty crap, foo. Continue, grasshopper. I'm here because Shark and Scorpion have infiltrated his porno business. And now that the warrior has accessed our computers, their lives are in imminent danger. Whew. If we don't get to Shark and Scorpion fast, they're going to get whacked. Since you were stationed here, I wanted to recruit you to help me find them before it's too late. The last time Shark contacted me, he said he and Scorpion would be working in an industrial park area. But they did not know which one or where. Due to security reasons, I'm unable to make contact with them. Shark did say that they would be driving a white Audi station wagon with Louisiana plates. All we can do is hit it in the morning. Try to find that white wagon and them. We're approaching the area where Doc was last contacted. Man, there are a lot of trees down there. Not like West Texas where I'm from. It's really flat where I come from. How flat is it? It's so flat, when your dog runs away from home, you can see him for three days. That's flat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look at the map. There's a hunting cabin up ahead. We'll spend the night there. Is there room service? Yeah, right. <laughs> when Hard Drive recommended you, he said you had a certain flair for the absurd. <laughs> I see your cover is that of a couple of California surfers. Hey, you got it. You are? Smith, sir. And you are? Barney, sir. Smith and Barney? Yes, sir. They're code names, not our real names. Not our real names. Can either one of you work a video camera? Dude, are you kidding? We're totally celluloid literate. Cyberspace film school, two-day intensive. Isn't it amazing what you can learn on the net? <laughs> Enough. You'll take the next plane to Vegas. Your instructions are in here. Radical. Go. You, Mr. Barney. My name is not Dude. I can dig it. Do that. Dig it. Owl again. Shut up! Kim, the facts. 
My, my, my. What's it say? There is strong evidence that our gringo friend, Doc Austin, is working both sides of the fence. I will take care of it personally. Well, what do we do? I said shut up! Fax this to order. Finish loading these things into the cabin and guard it with your life. Okay, Kim. Get in. We have a long drive back to our camp. That southern owl is an endangered species. Well, it's not endangered anymore. You think you'll need that? Never know. Explosive tip, right? Everything I touch has a way of exploding. Mind if I try it sometime? Be my guest. How do you like these? I just got them. Really? Who had them before? Hello? Scorpion, I do believe. My name is Pete, and I'm stoked. We've heard about you and Shark, and we've seen your audition tape. Now we're ready to do it big time for all the world to see. We've been waiting for your call. Where should we meet you? Oh, no, 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 you don't meet us. We'll pick you up. We have a lot of props. Perhaps we should follow you. They have props. Okay, that may do. You stay right where you are. We'll be in touch. Last we have their trust. We'll be on the inside. We have to be performers in a porno film to do it. So be. Yeah, we may as well give it the whole nine yards. It'll distract them. Then we'll nail the bastards. I think we should rehearse till they get here. Shark, you two start without me. About a half a mile up the road. Juan's getting a little right. Son of a bitch is heavy. You know something? The dead deserve respect. I'm gonna give this guy a one-gun salute. Damn it. Foo, I'm calling Jordan right now. You call that full play? Okay, I understand. Talon and Tiger have gone to locate Doc. You and Fu are in Las Vegas searching for Shark and Scorpion. How the hell did this leak out, Jordan? You told me this couldn't happen. We are trying to locate the problem. Obviously, it's internal here in Washington. Dietrich and I are on our way to Dallas. Locate your people, meet us there the day after tomorrow. I'll need more time. If I'm successful here, I'll need to locate Cobra in Beverly Hills. Cobra's on her own, Willow. You can't mean that. 
The hell I can't. You have your orders. Dallas, two days. We're gonna salvage what we can from this mess. I don't trust that bastard. Come on, Fu, let's go. way to contact Cobra. With this phone, I can activate her warning device. Her device will respond in 60 seconds. It's a code red signal. Return to Dallas home base immediately. So do it, Willow. It's not that simple, Fu. Why? The Warriors people could intercept the signal, and if they know she's being warned, they'll kill her immediately. But we have no choice. Hey, where's Tony? He, uh, came down with a real bad headache. I'm filling in. My pool man's really gonna be pissed. I hope he doesn't clog my filter. Hey, that looks like Manuel's car. Something's up. He ain't supposed to be back till tomorrow. Gringo bastard, you work for Jordan. This will be fun getting you to talk. <coughs> Take him inside. <coughs> oh! They're shooting down. Just got a big gun. You wanted to try this? Be my guest.
flat. Nice to see you, Doc. Yeah. Damn it, how'd this happen? These bastards trusted me. I've been here for two months. I was this close to getting everything we need to nail them. I discovered a security leak in the computer system. The four agents on this mission are on red alert. You mean someone on our side's given us up? Afraid so. Ain't life grand. Matter of fact, it ain't. Let's go, Doc. We got a plane over here. What's the status on the others? Cobra, Shark, and Scorpion. Cobra's on her own. Willow is trying to locate Shark and Scorpion in Vegas. This used to be a sleepy little town. Now look at it. There must be dozens of industrial areas. Finding a white Audi station wagon is gonna be tough. Good. Shark and Scorpion, this is Pete, I'm Charlie. We're gonna make a hell of a film. Oh, yes, we are. Return. Take off the road. I'm gonna go hand in hand. Fort Worth International Airport, gate number 24. Baggage claim is located in the lower level of the terminal. I'll get the car. Dallas office about 15 minutes from here. Hey, this way. I think we got some good stuff. Jeez, you look close. Okay. Hey, that was great, but we're gonna need a few more shots. We'll meet you here tomorrow at noon. Cool.
We set the line, dude. Let's see if the fishies bite. We have to meet with Jordan tomorrow. I can't wait. I got a few things to settle with him. Over here. I've arrived in Dallas. Okay. What's the combination? 1851. Let's go back. recorded him going behind this screen. Look at this. They're counterfeiting every kind of film ever made. This is a multi-million dollar scam. Look at this little puppy. I'm good. I bet I'd get Cisco Niebert's two thumbs up. I don't think so. This is one tape they're not gonna get. We've got what we need. Let's get out of here. Make sure they're under 24-hour guard. I want you two back in my office by noon tomorrow. By the way, Cobra checked in 10 minutes ago. She made it back here okay. Thank God. Hey, come here. There's someone locked up inside. Willow, I'm coming with you. God. Thank you. What the hell happened to you guys? We were jumped yesterday by two maniacs. They tied us up and threw a dozen burgers at us. Yeah, with extra ketchup. You two must be the real Pete and Charlie. Yeah, yeah. right. That's right. I'm lucky to be alive. I could have died of indigestion. Right. <laughs> Something's wrong. Tiger, you take the outside. You got it.
Hey, it's okay, Tyler. Blondie's home. Damn, Cobra. You scared the hell out of me. You scared me too. I could use a little protection. What's the similarity between real estate and kissing? Location. 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 Yeah. Yeah, okay, Tyler. Yeah, I'll be right there. First, I gotta get something off my chest. So Shark and Scorpion were only wounded. And you idiots knocked out Pete and Charlie at my studio. They worked for me, you morons. Hey, we went there, we told them who we were, they got real pissy with us. Yeah, yeah, they showed us no respect, man. We're college educated. My whole damn Vegas operation is up in smoke now. Well, who would have figured that fool and Willow would have showed up? They were cool, man. Pros like us, packing heat. Yeah, yeah, and hand-to-hand -hand with Fu and Willow was out. Word on the street is that they're both black belts. Really? That's very interesting. Well, I'm gonna give you two monkeys one more chance. Go work out, get your bony little asses into shape. Your boy Doc got away too. We were attacked, surrounded by a small army. Not to worry, sir. All the items were previously taken to your cabin at the lake. There was nothing left at my camp to implicate our operation. Hard Drive wants his money tomorrow. You know what to do. Everything's gonna be just fine. Just follow his orders. He can be brutal. By the way, Where's your lovely associate, Kim? I left her at the hotel. She was gonna go shopping. Please, put in a good word for me with the warrior. Of course, Manuel. Don't worry. My dear, you are a woman of a thousand faces. Settle down, everyone. We're gonna get back on track. Hey, track this, Jordan. You wanna fire me, be my guest. I can retire in two years, or you can can me now and pay me off. Four of us put ourselves on the line. We infiltrated the Warriors' top operations. And your department let some turncoat jerk off give us up? Can I say something? Yeah. No, no, I mean something off the record. All right, sure. I'm not so sure you're not the jerk off who fingered us. Me? You son of a bitch! Yeah, you. Who else knew what we were up to and how to access the master computer in Washington? What was it, Jordan? Money? What'd you get? 30 pieces of silver? You're crazy, Doc. The only person in this room that can access the computer is Tiger. I'm the only one as far as we know. But it can be done by any expert, given enough time, data, and access codes. Face it, Jordan. It could be you. Why did you get so ticked off when Cobra told you I contacted her on the red alert beeper? You could have compromised the whole operation. My call saved her life. You want to talk about Shark and Scorpion? 
The leak that put their asses at death's doorstep came from your end. It came from Washington. All right! Let's stop this. We aren't getting anywhere. I say, when we've arrested the warrior and this operation is over, you kick Jordan's ass on general principles. What about you, Dietrich? Have you got anything to say? I must advocate Jordan's feelings on this matter. The computer infiltration was an unfortunate incident. Unfortunate incident, my ass. Dietrich, you're not in the field dodging bullets. Come on, folks, what are we gonna do next? Well, let's consider our options. The wire obviously has a central computer office somewhere in the city. We don't know where. But what we do know, he has a home in the Knob Hill district of North Dallas, a very expensive gated community. He pretends to be a solid citizen, he frequents the arts and he donates to charity. Puts up a very good front. We know his primary contraband. Paintings, artifacts, and gold were transported from Manuel's location in South Texas to a secluded barn on Lake Dallas. Those artifacts are priceless. The Las Vegas porno operation, that was small potatoes, just for kicks. The contraband from South Texas and the diamonds Cobra handled in Beverly Hills, that's his score. The warrior is consolidating. He's gonna make a big move soon, like out of the country. I can feel it. Tyler and I will stake out his place in Knob Hill tonight, see what we can come up with. Cobra, Tiger, and Foo can stay at our place, in case you need them. That'll be fine. Uh, Willow, I'll need you for a while longer. We have a hell of a lot of paperwork to cover. Sure. I'll get my files and be right back. I don't trust those bastards. You guys keep your asses covered. Yeah, that's why I mentioned the stakeout. See how they'd react. Hey, which one of these cars belongs to Jordan and Dietrich? That white one right there. Good luck, guys. This should keep tabs on them. Man, this working out stuff is killing me. Yeah, after this set, we can have a cigarette break. There's a lot of construction going on around here. Doc, that's the weirdest place right over there. Are we on the same page here? Yes, sir. Everything's under control. The cowboys are in the woods behind us, about a hundred yards back. Do your thing. Don't screw up. It's our worst nightmare, Tyler. Have someone in our organization giving us up. Probably for money. I'm gonna drop out. Go race my bike. Get laid. Damn! Out the back, Tyler! Out the back! There's two idiots again! Let me get the bulldozer. Get out! Get out! Oh my god! Okay? 
Oh my god, we're lucky we got away. Senior dossier. So you're a California girl. That's right. The bio said you were working at Disneyland when you were recruited. What did you do there? I was one of the rides. All righty, here we go. Let's hit the bar for a cool one. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning, Dietrich. We'll hit it early. This should really piss off the agency. I don't know, man. I think most of it will rub out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a general store a couple miles back on the road. Can you make it? Yeah, let's go. Do you think anyone in our department knows about us? God, I'd hope so. Otherwise, they would suck as agents. <laughs> get us some grub. You get us a cab. How specials? Donuts, chili, ice cream, and beer. Well, that pretty much covers all the food groups. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm parked right out front. I'll get ready. I'll meet you downstairs in 10 minutes. That was Dietrich. He received a top priority fax from Washington. We're meeting two Interpol agents at 10 o'clock. He says these agents have received information from a little cross satellite. Information as to where the warrior has his treasures stashed. Room service, please. Hey, I'm gonna grab some breakfast and call food to pick me up. We'll meet you at the office this afternoon. Here's a fact, sir. Ah, lacrosse satellite. <laughs> I'm always amazed the amount of information that can be gathered by a satellite 200 miles up in the sky. We're to meet the Interpol representatives at that lake site. It's about a 30 minute drive from here. This is Fu. Fu, I'm at the Holodome. Pick me up in half an hour. I'll be waiting out front. I assume you will have much to tell me, little butterfly. Your body is like a temple. You must have used it to extract an enormous amount of information for Mr. Jordanson. I didn't get Jack from him. All we did was hump our brains out. You have a way with words, little flower. I shall be there in 30 minutes. I got a haul ass. You fellas can set that down right there. Today's special waffles a la Beretta. And you better make that to go. We leave tonight on my private jet for South America. This is my day, Ron. The day of the warrior. First, I'll kill these two with my bare hands. I can feel the power. Then, I'll leave this wretched country taking riches beyond my wildest dreams. The world is my oyster. Ron, Take these two to the lake cabin and pack up everything. Prepare them to fight. Here's a gift for you. 
Thanks. <laughs> when Fu left to get Willow, he said he'd be right back. That was over two hours ago. Nobody's heard from Jordan or Dietrich. The lake cabin. It's the only lead we have. Let's go. This is it. According to the map, this is where we're supposed to meet him. Oh, you know what? <gasps> Please open the case. This is a bomb. It's very simple. We give Mr. Hard Drive the case. We get back in the car. He drives away. I press the button. He blows up. I like it, Manuel. You think of everything. So we burn up a few dollars with the explosion. <laughs> It costs money to stay in business. <laughs> yeah, it'll be money well spent. Mama. find their cabin somewhere on this lake. The homing device signals we planted only carry five miles, Doc. We need to get lucky. Here it is. Mr. Hard Drive, I believe. Open it. One million dollars in unmarked bills. This should keep you in style for the rest of your life. Money goes far in certain parts of Europe if you don't overdo it. This is only a fraction of what I helped the warrior amass. If I decide to overdo it, tell him I'll be back for more. I'll do that. Back roads are tough. Camp's about a hundred yards this way. Come on. Get killed. 
I've told you a thousand times, you've got to think positive. Yeah! I'm positive we're gonna get killed. So am I. Urgh! on Jordan's car. Oh, my God! What happened to you? He's lucky to be alive. Oh. Right, he's got some broken ribs. I'll be okay. Lucky I had my bulletproof vest on. Dietrich is the mole. That son of a bitch, he did this. In some cheesy blonde. They turned north past those trees. Let's get him into the boat. We can't go back. Willow and Flute could be at the cabin, if they're alive. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Come on, big girl. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. JP, come with me. Good to see you. How'd it go with El Taco? Tostada, baby. Manuel was a thieving son of a bitch. We gotta get this stuff loaded up, take it out to the airstrip. We gotta fly out of here with the warden in about six hours. Let's get started. Hey, while they're loading up, let's go patrol the area. That's a great idea. Hey, you see anything fishy? You drive, I'll shoot. Cha-cha-cha, here I come. This is. All we ended up with was a bunch of singed underwear. Hey! Handcuff yourselves to this post, boys. Party's over. <laughs> we'll send for you later. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Doc, the homing device you put on their green van? Signal's coming in strong. It's just up ahead. gun, I could tear you apart with my bare hands. You spit in Doc's face, you slut. Oops. Ain't <coughs> nothing like a right cross. Everything else just sucks. That son of a bitch has one of those big guns, too. Give me that cane. My cane? Do everything I touch as a way of exploding. <laughs> Weren't you listening? <laughs> Willow and Fu are not in the cabin. Nothing would please me more than to blow your head off. You have five seconds to tell us where Willow and Fu are. Practice. Oh! 
From the hospital in Las Vegas is that Shark and Scorpion are doing fine. They'll be released in two days. This riverboat here in Louisiana is fabulous. Yeah, and it's just a stone's throw from Big D. <laughs> this is great. A little gambling, good food, great company, good sex. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Big hit my stride. Three weeks here at I Love Capri, eh? Let's hear it for Foo. I love you, guy. <laughs> hey, I'll drink to that. We'll all drink to that. Well, here I am, all hot to try. I got everything that you ever want. So come on down and check me out. I'm your man without a doubt. I'm bragging. I'm bragging on me. Ha <laughs> ha 